for you to be prepared on the online platform we are going to use and some changes in the procedure. And since these uh, involve a new system, expect that there will be additional activities that will be considered as malpractices. For the expected exam condition, this video will enumerate the equipment and materials that you must have. I will be talking about the setup and the reason why we require you kids uh, to have the devices and other materials and the procedure. Those things you need to be familiar with so nothing would uh, cause any delay during the assessment. I have uh, placed several information on one of the pages of the website for all physics classes here and this is the list of the requirements for the online assessment. You need a laptop or a desktop with working microphone and camera. If you do not have a laptop, two internet enabled phones or tablets can be prepared. You also should have a stable internet. I recommend that you have a backup plan also in case your home broadband internet goes wrong. Perhaps a standby data internet in the phones. Considering the nature of the applications that we are going to use, you need a browser and uh, we would like you to use Chrome so there will be no compatibility issues since the apps that we are going to use are all uh, made by the same developer. I recommend that you update this Chrome browser prior to the CA1. Pen, pencil and paper should also be on your desk or workplace before the start of the assessment. Remember, you may not leave your place while the exam time is on. For subject where you need to upload your working or diagrams or graphs, have a phone or other device on standby so you could take photos and upload what are required. Some subjects will also require other tools like a protractor, ruler, calculator and others. Prepare those. Your teacher, I am sure, will inform you about uh, these uh, additional materials you need. As a recommendation, your workplace should be set uh, similar to this. Uh, let's move here and there. Uh, note that this uh, setup will likely be changed a bit with an addition of another device in mid-year exams. For now, it would be just a table, which I am sure you already have, to uh, place your device and materials. Your desktop or laptop should be here. Other tools like papers and pencil too. And calculators in subjects you are allowed to use. Now let's imagine that you are done with the setup and now excited to do the assessment. You will go through a three stage procedure. The stages are based on three times, the free exam time, exam time and the post exam. For the details, let's go back to my uh, presentation here. In the first stage, the pre-exam, this is the 15 minutes before the scheduled time for your CA1. You should go to the Google Classroom of the subject that you are taking in CA1. 15 minutes before the scheduled time. Here you will be given a link to a Google Meet. Let me show you that here. Let's open a new tab and here you have these uh, nine dots at the left side of your avatar. Click this and choose the Google Classroom. The Google Classroom where you are enrolled as students will be listed like that. Imagine that this is the subject scheduled for exam. Click this classroom and here you have the stream page. Expect that the post related to your assessment would be here, the latest uh, post by your teacher. However, it doesn't look like that. Instead, it should be something similar to this with a link to Google Meet. You then should click this and you will be brought to a tab where the Meet room is, like this one. These uh, icons here are important. If these are turned red, it means they are off. Ensure that the microphone is on by clicking this and do the same with the camera. Turn it on. Click join after turning on those and there you are inside the Google Meet that should remain on the entire duration of the examination procedure time. Another thing that you should uh, make sure remain on is the laptop or desktop uh, volume apart from the microphone and the camera. When the invigilator sees that all these are done, he or she then will ask you to share your entire screen so the recording can be started. Let me show you that. Here is what the invigilator will click to start the recording. But before that, you have to share your screen first by clicking this uh, other button here. Present now and choose this one. While being recorded, other instructions will be given to you like the one for the removal or disconnecting other devices from your SPA account. 
For primary students, it will be done by the G Suite uh, administrator for you. For secondary and JC students, you will be guided by the invigilator on this. In some subjects like English in the secondary levels, Google Docs will be used and since you will also be graded based on spelling and grammar, these uh, features the autocorrect ones will be turned off. Again, you will be guided by the invigilator on this. After those, and when it is already around uh, 3 to 5 minutes before the scheduled time, you will be instructed to go back to the Google Classroom to see another scheduled post where your exam paper written in Google Form has been attached. You should see it here at the top part of the messages on the Stream tab. Now, just to show you how the post should look like, let us go here to find an example. Here, this one. You should see something like this with some instructions from your teachers and an attached Google form. You should click the attachment like that and the form appears in another tab. Immediately read the instructions written in the front page of the form. Do not click uh, next yet. When the invigilator sees that you understood the content of the front page, he or she will give you the signal to start. You may then click next to proceed. Answer the questions in the form. The exam time starts and you are expected to use those materials and documents needed and not allowed to connect other devices to your account. For the form, when you are about to click the submit button after answering all the questions, you will be asked for a PIN or a code. Ask that from the invigilator, not by talking to him or her but using the chat panel of the Google Meet. Go to the tab with the Google Meet, click this icon for the chat and message the invigilator like that. The invigilator will enter the pin or code here also. What is expected from you is to copy and paste that code onto the form. Copy and paste, okay? Do not type that manually onto the form. To copy, highlight the entire code, press Ctrl C, then go back to the form and press Ctrl V to paste. Like that. When done with the code, there may be other instructions here. Read and uh, respond. Then uh, click Submit. Now, imagine that you already have submitted all the forms for CA1. At this point, and if photo uploads are not required, stay in your places till the invigilator lets you leave the meeting room at the end of the exam time. In uh, subjects where uploads are needed, you will be given 10 minutes to use uh, other device to take photos. You may now reconnect your device to your account and upload the photos to a separate uh, form or directly uh, upload that one to the Google Classroom. In the case of the sciences, you are allowed to use the other devices immediately after submitting the last form to take photos and uh, uploading it to a separate Google form. Again, you can find the instructions in Google Classroom about the details about uh, uploading the photos here at the top of all the messages. To complete uh, everything, you must click uh, Mark as done. When done with that, the invigilator can now allow you to leave the Google Meet. Lastly, in this video, let's go through quickly to the list of malpractices uh, based on our procedure. Basically, the use of unauthorized materials are not allowed. Also, apart from the tabs that are open due to the instructions and clicks you made, you are not allowed to open additional tabs. For subjects using Google Docs, you will be penalized if we see two or more colors moving around the documents having the same account, your account. You cannot reconnect the device that were disconnected within the pre-exam time too. Token is not allowed as well. Camera and mic must be turned on the whole time and the screen must always be shared in addition to that. And as I already mentioned at the beginning, you must stay in your places in front of the camera. A pin or code recorded by the form that is not the same as the one supposed to be copied and pasted from the chat to form, then it would mean it was done by another person, not you. And this is a malpractice. For your final grade, it is still from weighted average, but the percentages or weights have been uh, modified such that uh, we have 70% for ongoing assessment results and only 30% for the CA1. For absence or other reason for not being able to sit for CA1, grading will follow the year-long school policy in this case. Alright everyone, so that's how the CA1 has been planned and that apart from the stuff presented in this video, more likely your teachers will be doing activities to get you more acquainted with the process during class time. Okay kids, bye.